Welcome back to our Kids Books Read Aloud channel, Storytime with Little Book Nook. Today we are reading The Christmas Wish by Laurie Everett and photographs by Per Brehagen. This Christmas story is a classic that captures the holiday spirit. Stay till the end for a festive holiday animation. Long, long ago, in a place so far north that the mothers never pack away the wool hats or mittens, lived a sweet little girl named Anya, whose greatest dream was to become one of Santa's elves. One year, as the days grew shorter and the snow had fallen for weeks without a rest, Anya decided it was time to look for Santa Claus. Before she left, she remembered the kind old woman who lived down the lane. She had no children or grandchildren of her own, so Anya wanted to help her get ready for Christmas. As the old woman napped, Anya caught her naughty cat for her and decorated the gingerbread house they had baked together the day before. She swept out her sauna and found a small tree for her to enjoy. Then. Anya delivered gifts to her friends and family with a note saying she would visit them whenever her busy job with Santa would permit. Anya was well prepared for her journey. She watched the sky at night, observing the position of the North Star, and she memorized a great map on the schoolroom wall. Still, as she tied on her skis and began to glide away into the forest, Anya started to worry. What if I get lost, she wondered aloud. I can help you, sang a tiny voice. Startled, Anya looked back to see who had spoken. Up here, said the voice, and a bright red bird swooped down and landed on her ski pole. Anya explained her wish to find Santa Claus at the North Pole. But now I wonder if I'm foolish, she said. Not when you have the right friends, the bird answered. If you trust me, I can help you. But we must hurry. The days are short and Christmas is very near. So Anya skied after the patient bird, who led slowly so the child could make her way through the deep snow. When they came to a mountainside, Anya flew so fast over the sparkling powder that the bird could barely keep up with her. At the foot of the mountain, the bird whistled, and they were greeted by a giant horse. You may sleep in my barn tonight, he offered. Tomorrow, I can take you as far as one day and one night will allow. The cardinal fluttered away before Anya could thank him. Morning came in a blink. The gentle horse invited the still sleepy Anya to climb onto his back. They talked the day away as they trod through the snowy forest. Evening fell as they approached a mountain pass. The sky came alive with the dancing colors of the northern lights. They stood spellbound for hours and fell asleep. The horse standing strong and solid with Anya lying across his warm back. Anya was sad when she awoke and remembered that the horse would have to leave her, but she knew that his people would be worried about him. Later, as they approached the gleaming icefall, the horse whined loudly three times, and from a hole in the ice appeared the oddest looking creature Anya had ever seen. The musk ox spoke softly and slowly. The cardinal asked me to escort you under the glacier to the tundra, she said. Then she turned and walked back into the dark cave. Follow her now, the horse told Anya. She is shy, but she is trustworthy. He saw that Anya was sad to leave him, so he said, When you are Santa's elf, you can visit me whenever you wish, but hurry now. Christmas is very near. Anya took off her skis and bravely joined the plodding ox. The cave was dark as night as Anya followed the ox downward, 
and luminescent blue as they climbed up a trail of ice and stones. When they emerged, Anya saw a tremendous fur blanket lying on the ground in front of her. Just as she was ready to collapse into its warm folds, it shifted. It rose. It wasn't a blanket. It was an enormous bear, just like the ones in the tales her father told around the fire. After Anya had thanked the musk ox for her help, the bear spoke. I have come to take you north over the tundra, he said in a deep, soothing voice. You may ski or ride as you wish, but we must hurry. Christmas is coming soon. When they stopped for a rest, Anya found a small book in her pocket. In the day's last light, she read a story to the bear about a troll and three silly little goats. The next day was bright again. Anya skied, then rode on the bear's back. He was great company. They sang songs and made each other laugh. They reached their destination early. Anya had no idea how the bear could tell the spot from any other, but he told her they would be meeting a friend at this exact place. Since we have the time, let's take another rest, he said. Anya curled up into the bear's softness and slept without a dream. They awoke to a jingling, jangling sound. Sleigh bells! Anya and the bear looked up. A reindeer landed right in front of them. I am so glad I found you, the reindeer said. We must run, for I am too tired to fly. Anya felt sorry for him. He looked exhausted. As she took his harness off, she remembered an apple she had brought and offered it to him. The reindeer thanked her as he happily ate the apple. Anya hugged the bear goodbye, then she put on her skis and set forth with her new friend. At first, Anya tried to ski behind the reindeer, but he was much too fast. So Anya asked him to tow her. It was as close to flying as she'd ever been. Anya skied that way for many miles. Just as she began to worry that she could not hang on any longer, the reindeer called. Hold tight! In a flash, they were soaring through the sky. Anya watched as the ice gave way to the ocean she had seen on the schoolroom map. She saw eagles, whales, and giant icebergs that reminded her of the rock candy she made with her mother. Finally, they landed in a lovely clearing surrounded by trees cloaked in snow. Then Anya's wish came true. Santa Claus appeared. He lifted Anya onto his knee. Welcome, Anya, he said. I have been waiting for you. You are an extraordinary little girl. While there are many children who wish to be one of Santa's elves, you are the first to have come this far, and you are already my most important helper. You bring kindness and joy to those around you all year long. Thank you. Now, may I ask you for a favor, he added with a smile. Will you help me drive my sleigh? Anya was thrilled to give the command. Fly! It was very early Christmas morning when they landed near Anya's home. Before I leave, Santa said, I'd like to give you a very special gift. This is a magical bell. If you ever need help, ring this bell three times. Santa Claus kissed her on the cheek, and the next thing she knew, she was in her bed. Anya sat up and looked out the window and into the frosty morning. There was no sleigh, no reindeer, no tracks in the snow. She held the bell closely. Was it all a dream? She wondered. What do you think? Thank you.